Dylan Mulvaney, this, I have to eat crow on this because I think I said last time Dylan Mulvaney got caught up in like a pedo adjacent thing. I can't remember what it was exactly. Someone remind me. He praised somebody who had made, he said that somebody was an inspiration to him and that person had made pedophilic statements. And I thought for sure after that, that Dylan Mulvaney's only appeal to the, the system was that he was this completely squeaky clean gay man that they could prop up and shove in everybody's faces to be like, look, trans people are just normal gays, you know, don't, don't hate them. They're just normal gay people. And then after he made the, the statement praising the pedophile, um, I thought that they would drop him. However, they're still pushing him. He is now 30 under 30 meet the class of 2024. Uh, and he they, he is on the cover, so they're still and photoshopped to the point where he's barely recognizable. So they're still trying, and I was wrong, chat. I was wrong. Uh, I will play about a minute of this, maybe. We got a lot of videos to stream. People murdered because of their so called day of remembrance, and we recommit to making sure that everyone can be who they are openly and proudly without fear hashtag trans day of remembrance trans day of remembrance happened over the last week uh while i was not streaming so i missed it um i didn't even know about it until i saw like a fucking hashtag or some shit i don't know they keep doing tranny shit it's so fucking disgusting the only problem is there haven't been any trans people murdered because of their so-called gender identity in north america at all in recent years they're, they're remembering the murdered trannies for their tr transgender identity. And this lady does a really decent job. This video is six minutes long. I'll play like a minute of it, though. Uh, she does a really decent job of explaining how that's actually complete fucking nonsense. And that's if we look at the data from trans activists themselves. For example, the Human Rights Commission releases a list of transgender people killed in the United States every single year. I do want to say, explain, uh, mention that this way of subtitling where it's like a line and then it, you put a, like a little block over each word, uh, especially in the TikTok videos that are like, you only see one word at a time makes me violent. It's the most annoying fucking way to subtitle ever. I have functioning eyes and ears and I do not need accessibility uh, tools built into the subtitles to help me fucking read because, because I'm an adult. Thank you. While it doesn't explicitly claim that all these lives were lost in hate crimes, it heavily implies it and makes every effort to lead readers to the conclusion that the names listed are transgender people murdered in hate-motivated attacks. But the Redux team perused the internet looking for proof of motive on all of the names the HRC included in their 2023 list, and of all of them, only one of them was a suspected, not confirmed hate crime. In fact, the majority of them were murdered by their intimate partners, which is consistent with previous years of reporting. And the same goes for Canada. Despite Justin Trudeau's virtue signaling about Canada being some sort of dangerous hellscape for trans people, not a single transgender person has been killed in a hate crime in Canada since 2008. In fact, the last recorded instance of a trans person being murdered in Canada was four years ago when a trans activist by the name of Julie Berman was murdered by his sexual partner after two got into a fight over crack cocaine. A and it continues. That's basically the gist of it. There are no roving like uh, gangs of tranny murderers out there hunting down and scalping. Like they're not scalping the wigs off of the trannies and then collecting them. This is like a myth, and for whatever reason, it keeps being reiterated, and it's very much in line with other statistics where they're all just black people dying over drugs. And uh, I guess, like, if I, I mean, black people, I mean, black people lo are really into that like prison gay shit. I don't know what the deal is with. It. It's like they have that mentality where it's not gay if he's dressed up like a woman. And then if they are being murdered for being trannies, they're like. Oh, well, he's going to out me as being a uh, homo unless I murder him. And I think they do that. That's that's the, the basis of that statistic. Such is life. That's the Trans Day of Remembrance. Um, three of the trans people eulogized by Biden, because uh, he did a whole speech about it, too, which is fucking nauseating. 
um, three of the people that he had mentioned were actually murdered uh, in the uh, process of a crime. So they were either like trying to stab a cop, they were trying to uh, steal something, they were doing drugs and were violent, and that's why they were killed. Uh, and our president of the United States of America eulogized them as being innocent victims of hate-motivated violence and not uh, the consequences of their own actions. Very, I don't know. I guess most people don't care. I think most people just like, I don't know, they, they just take this all at face value and they don't even want to talk about it. It's so when I, when I talk about things like this, I kind of, I, I kind of want to be more persuasive. And like, if someone's like listening, who doesn't agree with me on everything, it's like, how do I, how do I reach these keys? However, thing, I think, would it be safe to say that things are more p polarized than like ever before? And there's very little line crossing that happens between the sides at this point. Uh, is, is that, I don't know. Maybe it was worse during like the civil war. I feel like in the civil war, it wasn't so bad. <laughs> the only, re I don't know why people, I guess the reason why um, there isn't a civil war is that there's no clean lines between the sides, you know, like it's just kind of everyone's mixed together and you can't really form like a, a front. There's no, like in the, in the American civil war, there were effect the American civil war for the, for the record was a very unique thing. And how civil wars are conducted almost never ever does a civil war uh um act as a pretender state and a recognized authority state fight as two independent states um that is a very rare uh form of civil war usually it's just like chaos and people killing each other and shit um I, guess, I mean, I don't know. I don't know. It's just weird. It's kind of tiring even thinking about it. Cause it's like, okay, our president is, is commending violent criminals because they're trannies. Why did they push the trannies so much chat? Why does it, why, why did they push the tranny so much? What is the point? Is it just a distraction? What are they distracting us from? Israel? Everyone hates Israel anyways. I don't get it. Sometimes I think about it and I just think, like, what, what, what is the point? Because if they are trying to distract people, what, what, what from? From the AI? Economic collapse? <sighs> I'm not sure. Population control, maybe. Maybe it's just pharmaceutical companies trying to make money. That could be it. Jimmy Fallon said the word bud. Kid. Oh, well, I mean, for Halloween, I, I was obsessed with how the Capitol people were in costumes and I made my own costume one. <laughs> oh, bud. I know. This is unbelievable. This is really cool. Look at those fake silicon tits bolted on to a lengthy gay man. How disgusting. Cool. Yeah, I think Now was, you're in Hunger Games. I know, as a Capitol As a Capitol person. person. It's crazy. It's really, it's, it, yeah, it's crazy. Look at you. Yeah. Congratulations, bud. Come on, is that kind of like not too far off from me? But... Not bad. Yeah. Uh, tell me. It's who not you a played. she. Tell me who you played. Uh, wait, wait. Where do you want me Here, to go? Who said I that? Think, Slick on top. Is up. she retarded? Slick, I'm afraid to say you would be fucked in the ass if you went to the bar with this gangly troon. Your butthole would be popped right now. Disgusting. Everyone shame him. Sure. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, am I gonna start crying? Oh know. my god, like, holy shit. Whatever comes up. We look right at you. Yeah, yeah, and we look like this. Okay, and like this. And then we roll the shoulders back, and then we go. Okay, ready? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> Bros. Bros, who the fuck is watching television? Who the fuck is watching television still? This is what they put on TV. And you have to, and people watch it. What the fuck? Anyways, you might have heard Jimmy Fallon said that Bud a couple times and, and misgendered this beautiful trans woman. Um, his name is Hunter Schaefer. He couldn't be bothered to change his first name to a female name, so he's just trying to go by Hunter Female. Uh, 
there was a lot of outrage about Jimmy Fallon saying that he should be murdered for misgendering because apparently bud is a hyper masculine word reserved for men only. Um, that's news to me. I think it's okay to call whammon bud. Not, probably not a whammon that you're sexually attracted to, but maybe like a young person. That's just sort of like a, okay, bud. But anyways, people took offense to that. And so when people took offense to that, the natural question becomes, uh, what kind of deranged freak lunatic tranny is this uh, astroturf tranny that they're pushing in Hollywood, actually? So they open up his public Instagram account, and they find this. This is the deranged psychotic uh, journal of a man in a dress with bolt-on tits that you just saw, who's like six foot six and 90 pounds. Uh, to be, this is what he wrote. This is, he published this on Instagram to the world. To be consumed, my sexual orientation was not gay, it was not straight, nor pan. It was, it was an attraction to never know a world without misogyny. It, it is to never know yourself without it, as we are all members to misogyny. His attraction is an attraction always to misogyny. Why did I want slash need to be a woman? My gender is so influenced by a need to be used by men. Infant straight boy in assigned place now realized by wearing misogyny in PJs, but benefiting from its something. Gay boy, an attempt at femme. The beginning of shrugging, misogyny off my shoulders, and stabbing myself with it, and in uh, inability to be femme, but an ability to feel more of femme slash womanhood. Straight woman, finding femme under the contributing of being gay, not feeling femme enough without being a victim of rape. So he wants to be a victim of rape, he says. Gay woman, releasing gay conditioning, but finding comfort in the box and padded prison of womanhood. Queer person, the most liberated from gender, I have found myself still something with the dealing with the ruins of sexual brainwashing, but awaiting my own femininity to flourish a void of men. To furnish? To, uh, oh, uh, my own feminism to furn furnish it a void of men. Okay. And then it says, looks up a, a the AOT of eating consumption. The, the, the thrill of being eaten used to arouse me. So he's a vorophile in case you aren't catching on. Uh, is this misogyny still do? Or he says, I think I used to, maybe still do, uh, internalize misogyny because I thought I wanted to be a woman and saw that men ate women whole, that men are dominated. Hence my formal and current arousal towards domination and not to mention humiliation. Why is it that sex... And all too commonly an act of violence. Why is it that rape is fetishized by both sides of the binary? How do I take on the sexuality so easily and without thought? Was I gay because I was trans? Did my yearning for... For becoming to be a woman to escape the prison that is being a man... Make me want to be eaten by men so that I could, for like a woman, so that I could fear like a woman, fee, die like a woman, feel like a woman? Was being gay the only answer to this? I remember not liking gay porn because I could not find the big, big us contrast. Then when I was gay, I liked straight porn because it lacked misogyny, oppression, and abuse. So this man uh, is a vorophile who is so turned on by being humiliated. 
because part of the Vor experience is like becoming shit, like being digested. That he has like digested his masculinity internally, according to his insane ramblings, um, and became a woman, which is the ultimate form of misogyny because he just hates women so much. Uh, so this man is now on Jimmy Fallon uh, as this guy. He is a celebrity. He is in your media. This insane vorophile who just hates women so much that it makes his pee pee hard. And the rolling class elites have decided that this is who you will have in your cultural zeitgeist and who you will like and who you will see in films. And you have no say in this. Uh, congratulations. I just thought that, that was funny because it's like, yeah, this is like serial killer Buffalo Bill shit for sure. Thank you for watching this clip. This is the CACA Lofa. Remember to like and subscribe.